with Councilmember Helena Brown and Marilyn Atkins, event coordinator of the pavilion. Good afternoon. We're a full service facility conveniently located in West Houston just inside the Beltway 8. I'm here Tuesday through Saturday to show you what the pavilion can do for you. Thank you. Next we're going to go off to council member with her weekly report. Hi, Helena Brown here with this week's agenda report for February 13th. We had 36 items of this week's agenda and I voted no to just two, that's 6%. The first item is item number 17. It's for almost a million dollars for a, an SAIC contract for regional catastrophic preparedness services. We see this throughout the year, year after year, uh, millions of dollars being thrown in this type of uh, ventures and perhaps to the point of um, being fiscally unsound, uh, looking into the future for taking care of our country if in fact we have a hurricane or a natural disaster coming and hitting us and halting commerce and trade and the like. And, needing reconstruction of bridges or, or whatever the situation may arise, it's uh, fiscally uh, wise to make sure we're not spending or writing a blank check anytime anyone says safety or preparedness or whatever. We can't just have a blank check like that that places the nation perhaps in a disastrous situation where we may be faced with an economic collapse. So we need to be very wise on that. Uh, I did vote yes to item number 18, which deals with the same uh, matter in regards to preparedness. And this is for a storm risk calculator enhancement research and training at Rice University. And similar funds coming from the Department of Homeland Security, about $200,000 going to Rice University to help enhance and uh, the, the storm risk calculated, ca calculator uh, to operate and maintain it until November of 2013, uh, add Spanish language uh, versions and um, other items of that kind. And so $200,000 allowing the university to do additional trainings and, and, and study groups. The Rice Hurricane Research Group built this analytical and simulation models that provide risk estimates using the latest engineering and statistical methods of applicable to risk assessment. So this seems like a wise use of uh, government funds. Again, but we've got to be careful. And even some project like this, if it's way too many similar projects done, we can perhaps hear that in a different direction. And finally, item number 32, a municipal setting designation. And I routinely vote no on these as they are a violation of private property rights and water rights. That's the report. I'm Claudia Miranda. That's a report for this week. Until next week.